Shalom family. So some major concerning incidents in the last two weeks, besides all the volumes and volumes of end time related news, here are a few for you to ponder. May the 7th, assassination attempt against Saudi Crown Prince. May the 13th, Turkish President Erdogan holds emergency meeting following warning of possible military coup. May the 15th, assassination attempt on Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fico. May the 16th, citizen arrested for threatening to assassinate Serbian President Vucic. May the 19th, Saudi Arabia's King Salman hospitalized for the second time in four weeks. May the 19th, helicopter crash involving Iranian President Raisi and Foreign Minister Amir Abdullahian. Things are happening fast. We're just not seeing them or acknowledging them because they're getting lost in the noise that they put out to make sure that you're not watching and you're not looking. There's a lot happening. It is all big ticket items happening that make major changes, have huge repercussions. These are not small pebbles thrown into a lake with tiny ripples. These are bricks and boulders sending forth waves, just delivering everyone faster and faster towards this end time tidal wave that is incoming. We have time to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, to usher people into his glorious light and to bring them to truth while we are still here. While it is day, let us work because the night is looming and we can see its shadow. We are not afraid of the shadow because the light burning within us brought forth the very creation of everything we know in existence. And that same light is coming to fetch us very shortly. The light of Jesus Christ, the true light, not the false light that has been predicted and pushed to the world through Lucifer, but God Almighty through which we are saved, redeemed, and called family and his own sheep. Shalom.